This is your pal, Gadgetel, and of course that's not my real voice, but it is me, your pal style, guys. And what we have today is a few AliExpress shell crackers, and we're going to rate them from 0 to 10. 0 being the worst, 10 being the best, but it's only one test, that's all, so let's get this started. Gadgetel. Welcome back to Gadgetel, guys, and of course we have a few shell crackers here today. They are all from AliExpress, and this is going to be the first one right over here, guys. I know it looks kind of like a, a nail cutter. This one here is made out of all metal. I'll give it a turn here and right over here. And it looks like a big nail cutter, but it's not. What it is is a shell cracker for like pumpkin shells, pumpkin seeds, or sunflower shells, sunflower seeds. Insert the shell here, and you press this down and it cracks it. So that way you don't have to use your mouth or your teeth and I guess wear out your teeth. But sometimes like me when I do sunflower seeds, it chafes my tongue. It does, it does chafe your tongue and it leaves it kind of raw and it kind of hurts. And sometimes your lips, they dry out a lot and I'm thinking because of the salt. You can use this and that way it saves your tongue, your lips and your teeth all at once. So let's try this out. If you like sunflower seeds, this is what they look like. So here is the first one. You're basically gonna insert it in here, press this down and that's what it does. And you pull it out here and all you have to do is separate the shell from the inside. So there it is intact right over here. Insert that here. That's a nice crack. Separate the shell from the inside and that was all in pieces. So we're gonna try another one here. Kind of go soft on it, separate it from the shell, the seed inside, and that's what it looks like there guys. Pretty cool, very easy to use and it's really soft on your fingers. So even a light crack will get this shell open i have some pumpkin seeds here let's give that a try here whoa this one is a lot bigger compared to the sunflower seed so go to the other side and sort of this is more difficult with the pumpkin seeds guys i'm gonna try to shove it inside you can shove it inside and then and then crack it and it will work but most likely it's gonna destroy the seed inside so let's check that out did it crack it open yeah I guess you can use it. You just have to kind of squeeze it inside. See, squeeze it in and it will crack it open. It did kind of crack the whole, the whole seed inside too. So I guess it's going to depend on you. You see, it does work. I'm not going to say it doesn't. It does, but I would rather use this for the sunflower seeds, sunflower shells. I'm going to give the shell cracker here, guys, 8.2. It is all made out of metal. The whole thing is made out of metal. The pumpkin seeds barely fit, and some of them don't even fit on the inside of this thing. See how this one doesn't really fit all the way in? Of course, the sunflower seeds, they go inside really easily, and this thing makes easy work out of cracking them. It does remind me kind of like a fingernail cutter, and that's a little bit weird. It throws you off. But other than that, I think it's a really, really genius product, and it's it does work, but because of the pumpkin seeds not fitting in there perfectly, I'm giving this thing an 8.2. It still works, by the way. And the next shell cracker, guys, is this one right over here. It is made all out of plastic. There's only one single metal piece here, and that is the center there that holds it all together with a spring on it. See, it's spring activated. With this one, which it will crack your pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds, you see how it has two levels here? I can see it on my left hand side. That one's a smaller one, and then the one right in the center here, most likely for pumpkin. So pumpkin, and then sunflower seeds right over here. So we're gonna try the pumpkin first. Perfect shape for this. And then just crack it. There it is. Perfectly cracked. We're gonna try the next one. Try not to do it so hard. There we go, and hopefully, your pumpkin seed is not all mushed up, but sometimes it is. I think for the most part, pumpkin seeds, they don't hold themselves very well. They don't hold themselves together very well. Pumpkin seeds are pretty soft, by the way. Let's try the sunflower seeds, the small one all the way on this side, on the edge. Hopefully this thing will fit. And it does. Wow, that thing almost destroyed it. Yeah, and it destroyed the seed inside too. <laughs> so we're gonna try another one here. Insert that there. It destroyed the shell, but the sunflower seed inside it's still intact. Next one here. It is intact. See? Right over here. I'm going to give this plastic one here, guys, a 7.1. It is all made out of plastic. I do like that. It's going to be easy to clean. And it only has that one single metal piece here. I noticed that anytime I cracked the shell with this one, it was a lot of force. And it would just break most of the seeds on the inside. And I do like that it does have 
that spring return. You see that? That spring return. And of course, it has this finger hole here. So it's really nice and easy to grip. And it's really not that much force that you have to put to crack the shells, of course. That 7.1, I think that's a good score for this one here. Next one. By the way, guys, if you're liking what you're seeing so far, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below. That way you don't miss any more future gadget videos. Now let's continue with this one right over here, which is, of course, another shell cracker, pumpkin, sunflower seeds. But I'm pretty sure you can also do pine nuts if you guys have them in your area. See how it has three different holes. One, two, three. And yeah, let's see what this is gonna do. This one here is made out of all metal, the whole construction, every single piece. And here we go. We're gonna try out sunflower seed on the smallest one. Make sure I don't use too much force. And the shell comes out. And then the seed on the inside is perfect. Next one here, a little bit of force. Shell comes off and that's a little bit of seed. Next one, shell is out of the way. Wow, this one, I like it. It's working really nice. It's not cracking all the way through to the seed. Let's open that up. Yep, you see, the seed is intact. Check that out, guys. I like that. And here we go, guys. We're going to try pumpkin seed. Hopefully, it's a lot softer. I'm going I'm to go here, the biggest one here. A little soft on it. Not too hard. I don't know, guys. For some reason, the pumpkin seeds, they just break apart so easily. I mean, I guess sometimes you can eat the whole pumpkin seed with shell and everything, but... For some reason, they're just cracking all the way through. It doesn't really matter. I'll try the center one here. I don't think it's a shell, the shell cracker here, guys. I think it's just a pumpkin seed. I think that's just the way they are. Here, this one came out perfectly. Almost a whole seed in, on the inside. I'm going to give this one here, guys, a 7.6. It is made out of all metal. I do like the construction on it. I do like the way it looks aesthetically. It looks really nice. They give it a nice shape. And I do like that it has these three holes here for different sizes of seeds. And they work exactly like scissors, but they're meant only to crack shells on uh, sunflowers or pumpkin seeds. Right over here where you insert your fingers, of course, especially on this side, it does kind of dig into your finger and after a while it does give you some sort of pain not excruciating but there is some type of pain there because it is digging into your finger but with this one you do have a lot more control and i think these will last a lifetime basically so yeah 7.6 that's a good score for these right over here next ones all right guys and the next one right over here and the next one right over here is this little thing made out of all plastic i'll give it a turn here so that way you guys can take a look at it and this is where you do it you see how it has these right here these are two plastic rollers insert the seed and then it cracks it and it falls to the bottom here and it collects the shell and the seed itself we're going to start off with pumpkin seed here we're going to insert it at the top here squeeze it through and let's see what happens i guess we really have to give it some force there it did crack it does it crack the seed inside a little bit. It cracked the seed a little bit. So we're going to try a different pumpkin seed. Do it again. This is pretty tough, guys. It's even hurting my thumb here on top. Squeeze it right through. That kind of hurt. <laughs> and open that up. There is your pumpkin seed. We're going to try it for the sunflower seed. And I hope this thing doesn't hurt. Right in one of these grooves. Squeeze it through. That flew all the way across the room. So we're going to try a different one. This thing is really difficult to work, guys. We're gonna do it again. Squeeze it through. Okay, finally. It did crack it open. So it did crack it open. And there is the shell. We're gonna do it one more time. We're gonna do it here again. And it did break it and it worked. This thing is a lot more difficult to work with compared to all the other ones. A 5.9. What this thing does, I think that's the right score for it. It is, of course, all made out of plastic. There's no metal at all. We squeeze this through and it, it hurts. I'm not kidding you. This thing does hurt. It is cracked. But in the process, you're hurting your fingers. You're hurting yourself just to get this thing cracked open. You might as well just use your mouth, your teeth to crack it open. I would not buy this. But I, that's why I put it as a 5.9 because it's a maybe for some people. Maybe some people might like this. And I think they should have mentioned that it might it might cause some pain. Guys, this is your pal Gadget Sour here again, and these were just a few AliExpress shell crackers you can purchase today. My favorite ones were the nail clipper looking ones right over here, and the scissor looking ones right over there. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss any more future gadget videos. Comment down below and check out this video right over here to see some more gadgets tested in Discord. And remember, one test, that's all. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.